This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, including my new bucktail fishing course that includes the blackfish jigging scene in this video. Uh, I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, I'm excited about this one. Um, well, it's the day after opening day of blackfish season in Long Island Sound. Um, but what I'm really excited about is this. This will be the first time ever that I get to fish a kayak for blackfish with spot lock. And uh, yeah, I've been looking forward to that because you get spoiled with it on the boat. And then, you know, on the other kayak, you got to anchor. And uh, But now I've got this one, so uh, pretty excited. And uh, we'll see. Um, fishing typically is good. I hate to be overly optimistic, but okay, we'll see what happens. Maybe some albies and uh, bass will come by. Yeah. See. All right, just pulling up on the spot. Yeah, you can't see it on the fish finder, but I'm coming up on the rock, and hey, all I got to do is push a button on that remote, and there goes the trolling motor. It's going to lock me on that spot. That's it. Okay, current's still moving real well here, so I'm thinking I'm going to be using a one ounce. I'm starting with a, a three quarter, but I think I'm going to have to go to one ounce. But let me put down and see what happens. Got to build a bite here. The green crab's going. I also am like anchored right on top of the rock. I think I should slide back a little. But All right, I'll see. show hooking the crab in a second. And I am going to uh, slide back a few feet to get off the top of the rock. And I'll do that by taking it out of spot lock just for a couple of seconds and just letting it uh, drift back a little bit um, just to get off the top of the boulder. And I'm not jigging here. Um, I'm just getting the line off the reel. It's, it's dried on. Yeah, I'm going to need an ounce. Yeah. Mm. Got life right away, but still. Got to go to an ounce. It took a long time. Oh, dropped them. All right, let's do it right. Yeah, that jig was sweeping behind me with three quarter ounce, so I've gone uh, right up to an ounce. And I'm in roughly 20 feet of water. So, mm, one thing a little harder about this is the direction that you end up facing. Here we go. Ah, short. Yep, right species, though. So, normally I would anchor backwards because I want the line running out um, in front of me. But with spot lock in a kayak, I mean, I can't turn around like you can in a boat. Face any way you want. Uh, so I do have that to contend with a little bit. But it's it's a fine trade-off to be able to just push the button and be on the spot. And then jiggle around easily if I want. Yeah, I'm just hooking like in one leg socket out another. And uh, stays on pretty well that way. And it took about five minutes for me to realize, you know, I can just shift my body a little bit so I can um, keep that rod out uh, more perpendicular to the boat. I, I just don't like here where the current's kind of pushing it towards the back. That's why in a kayak, normally I would anchor backwards. But yeah, this worked out. I just needed to shift my body a little bit. A little better. There we go. That's the feeling. Ooh, that's an eater. If he doesn't hang me. Yeah, I know you want to go back down there. That's 
good one. And I am keeping fish. Uh, I've got a um, canyon bag perfect for this and uh, a couple of ice bottles in there and I'm, I'm going to bleed them out in the bag um, and th that works out just fine. That bag keeps those fish uh, nice and cold. I'm going to keep him. Yeah. Albies just popped up. Albies, Albies, Albies. 100% saw them, saw the tails. Okay, a number one deadly dick tin on the end of a 20 pound cigar fluorocarbon leader. Uh, cast out, reel very, very fast, skip the tin across the surface of the water. Uh, Albies can be picky, but that will catch them many times. coming through. This is my chance here. All right, and these are Little Tunny, aka False Albacore, aka Albies. Anchor to get hung on, but let's go watch the prop. Always carry that blackfish rod when always carry that alby rod when black fishing. Oh all right. Ah the hook pulled. Okay, back to black fishing. So um yeah uh, last year was a really poor year in this area for false albacore. Um but boy some previous years 2017 I landed an even 300 from shore 
but um, you know, hoping that they're going to come through again this year. And I'm not done with those alleys on this trip. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, a nice one. Shouldn't do that. Ugh. Ooh, that's a heavy one. Okay, so this is Long Island Sound. The limit here is three fish at 16 inches. Uh, so that's my third fish, and everything else from this point will go back. Feels like some power there. I got Alby's busting. I think it's the biggest one. the net because I don't have to lift them very far. Then they shake. <sighs> nice one. So I'm not showing shorts. I'm probably getting three shorts for every keeper and I'm not even showing all the keepers. Uh, so you can see I'm facing a different direction. The current had slowed up and uh, I actually went for a little ride <laughs> looking around for false albacore um, boy I really want to get one and uh, so I took a little break from the black fishing I'm just uh, setting back up again and this is actually the longest I'm going without a, um, a decent hit is what you're seeing right here it's pretty much been lock and load hits the bottom there's a black fish on it not this time Ooh. this is the first drop after Resetting and taking a break on the slack. The very first trickle of incoming. Definitely a keeper there. Nice. Okay, the key to this is thin braided line. Uh, this is 15 pound test Berkeley X9. Um, and he, when you put down, you always feel a bunch of little bumps and taps. You have to wait through those until something swims away with the jig. And when it starts swimming, oh yeah. Set the hook. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Ah. <clears throat> Oh, big, big sea bass. Yeah, I didn't want to keep him because I've just got so much meat now, so let him go. Now, besides that sea bass, the only other ones I had, I had two small ones, and I foul hooked one porgy and that was it. Uh, everything else was blackfish. Oh, 
Oh, that happens maybe once or twice a season. Um, yeah, fish cut me off on a rock. I mean, that's that's black fishing. You're fishing in the rocks. Powerful fish. Uh, they go across it, and uh, yeah, cut you off. Jig back. Okay. Here's the thing. That is not my jig from today. I have not used an ounce and a half jig. That's definitely a Skinner jig. Boy, it sure looks like. I mean, that's that's my rigging all the way. I think it's from last year. That's amazing. So what I didn't notice right away was that the, the whole hook point is gone. I mean, that is definitely from the previous season. So I've got Asian crabs with me. I've been putting them on. Um, okay, so they're easy to hook. Um, just out um, into the bottom, out the top, from the back. So there was still a piece of green crab, a small piece on there, and I put the Asians on. Um, yeah, the green crabs seem to be out producing them. I don't, I don't know. I've been using the green crabs more on this trip than the Asians, so maybe that's why they've taken the bigger fish. Normally the Asian shore crabs work very well for me. I mean, they're harvested not that far from here, so um, yeah, it's a natural thing for blackfish to eat. It was slack, so I started reeling. That was mostly Asian crab on the hook. Good one. Yeah, so I quit with 13 keepers, uh, but I spent at least 45 minutes, maybe close to an hour, messing around trying to get albies. I've, now I'm going for albies. Um, yeah, chasing albies with a craft that does only four miles an hour isn't ideal, but what I'm going to try to do is get in their path. Um, they seem to be coming through. I'm going to try to get in the area where they're coming through. Oh, so close. It never touched the lure. Blew up on it, I don't know, three or four times. Boy, these things are exciting.
Boy, these things are strong when the water's still a little bit warm. of false albacore. You can come off now. You've done your your bit. You're just come on. You can shake off. Come on. You're just by here. Okay, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online courses at saltstrong.com slash Skinner, especially the bucktail fishing course that came out this year that also covers the blackfish jigging. Okay, go. Go. <laughs> hmm.